This soft piece of shale contains a crocodile leg bone and an armoured plate from a crocodile that lived during the Jurassic. As well as the leg bone, as we're removing the shale, we're coming across lots of compressed ammonites and fossil shells. As well as this, there's also a separate piece of shale with another armoured plate which we'll be preparing. Now that we've removed the bulk of the matrix on both of these specimens, the next job is to remove a lot of this shale and shape it into the finished size that we would like. There's really not much preparation at all involved in these couple of bones. They are so well preserved and already fully exposed that the next step is to perform a little bit of air abrasion and they'll be fully prepared. The whole process will take a few hours per fossil but already we're pretty much there. After allowing the shale to dry off we are now able to start the air abrasion process. Lots of tiny particles are fired out from this tool to remove microscopic pieces of shale piece by piece at a time. You can see just how quickly that thin layer of shale is removed from these delicate crocodile bones. Much care is taken to not leave the tool blasting out the particles on the bone itself since this can damage it. All we need to do is smooth off the rest of the shale and then we are finished. And here's the finished results. The first smaller piece is this armoured plate. We performed some air abrasion to expose the bone perfectly and also consolidated all of the loose shale. And the leg bone, also with an armoured plate preserved next to it, is finished here. These pieces are really rare. Finding such a crocodile bone is something that doesn't come along very often. You can just see how all of that careful preparation has exposed those beautiful details. What a brilliant set of fossils.